Okay, well, since you're tenth, you're a Pisces, so we're in the spiritual world right now. Correction, because I got uh, my midheaven in Pisces, and my fourth house is Virgo, so I'm a Virgo at home, and you're a Virgo in the career and the jungle world of the public, how you'll be remembered, and how you want to be remembered and advertise yourself, you know what I mean? But at home, you're a Pisces, and you get to have mystical, spiritual experiences, supernatural things that are happening to you all the time, that pe other people are going to think that's weird, but you think it's just normal, and other people that are doing experiencing the same weirdo things like I am because I'm a Pisces out there in the in the war, jungle world and when I retreat at home I get to be fourth house Virgo and organize on the mess or something and I can come out with it too I can go out in the world with my Virgo power somehow and my Pisces but it's mainly my power powers of Pisces I don't know my relationships being as Pisces and Mars and Aries so I'm like all on fire in the water oh wait okay so um Okay, since you have that, I wanted to collect. The fourth house is just Pisces. Your sixth house is the house where you feel like you're in rehab and that your mind is um, going out of control with having routines. So your air is Aries, I think. Let me look. Yeah, your fifth house is in Aries, and it says full of intuition. Intuitive things are done to the full, with energy, vigor, and strength of purpose. It is the same with love, life, children will be hardly and rarely ill. <laughs> I'm reading them. And it's not bullshit. Your sixth house is Taurus. So you, your, your routines are stable and you don't want to like be shoved. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can be stubborn in your routines and no one tells you what to do because you do it. And you're going to do it like a Taurus. <laughs> like a badass. You're going to do it beautifully. Yes, completely trusted at work, knows how to keep a secret, and is of irreproachable honesty, weak point, the throat. So someone can choke you, bitch, and like, you won't be such a bad bitch after all. <laughs> but it is cold. <laughs> um, because you rolled the throat. <laughs> Your seventh house is marriage. It's Taurus. I'm married to all the Taurus in the world, so let me tell you what. I know all about this. <laughs> I'm married to all of them. <laughs> It says, Mar <laughs> marries for love, but also well financially. A peaceful union, even if exchange of ideas isn't always smooth. I don't feel like I needed to use my serious voice to lower that energy to pinpoint that, but that was giving me nothing. <laughs> but a few words thrown out there gives me a heart feel full of my head, so whatever. But Taurus, you'll be at with Taurus in a relationship. That's, it's that, that's own home, because Taurus is... I mean, the seventh house is ruled by Venus, but it's mainly Libra. So if Taurus is in there, even extra, it's like perfectly at home. At home. Wow. Secure. It's in a secure place with your marriage relationships. Have you ever been married? Have you ever had a son? A daughter? You have any kids? Uh, never put blush. Oh, never blush. Blush. Oh. Do you have a little boy? Uh, were you the only kid? Oh, no, no, you had more kids. Like, you have, like, three brothers and sisters, and then one brother and sister lower than you. Like, three brothers and sisters older than you, and one younger than you? <laughs> I don't know. How did you know that? How did I know that? Okay, I don't know. Yeah. Well, they're all black. <laughs> I don't know, they're in my head. No. Okay. Your crowns and Pisces, yeah. you heal yourself when you become spiritual, and your sea rest is in Virgo. You heal others by being the mother hen, being harvesting um, stuff. Anyways, you asked me questions about how I'm psychic. <laughs> I don't know. It just happened. <laughs> but, okay. So, what's up? <laughs> We're trying to do a video about the psychic ability and get on camera before six minutes is up. And ah. Anyways, I can give you a, a more perfect and order psychic reading if I want to look at my film screen in my head that's going through me. It's my chance to give the camera okay, some advice know. and show them how to be real. Yeah, yell for me to do that. Tell God, hook it up, hook it up, because it would be perfectly in harmony. So we would go for our Venuses. Let's be in a relationship because I'm putting it in the tenth house. There we go, Mars. And here's our power. <laughs> I'm a witch. So are you. Everyone's a witch. Let's see what your eighth house says. Uh, house says since we like to discover things about us like that. Really something strong in my life. 
Your your eighth house is Gemini. Woohoo! And your moon sign is Gemini. Woohoo! Means you're a psychic witch. It means you are a witch. You have the abilities inside of your inside your mind and your emotions to become the occult thinker, the mind just floating in the eighth house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. Duality, multidimensional moon and Gemini. We are totally friends. You could keep up with me. I could keep up with you. You're fast. Processing things fast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, this is fun. I'm looking at your chart. Mm-hmm. I can't do it anymore because time ran out. Almost. One more minute. Uh-oh. I'm going to go on to. I'm going to.